festival. We are king to Opus to eat. Watch this. <laughs> Easy entertained. I keep telling Sean that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oh. I need a book like that of my life. The Captain's Log? Yes, Captain's Log. So yes, um, if you see out there is the marina. Yeah, and we're in here. We came, just got down here. It's Friday night and uh, Sean's got to work a little bit tomorrow, but we're going to hang out, eat dinner. I think I'm going to get the shrimp and the grits, so I'll let you know how they turn out. Sean got him a Long Island iced tea, and I got a mojito coming. So, we're getting ready for a great weekend, and we're glad that you guys are going to be a part of it. Well, happy Saturday and good morning. Um, as you guys know, we had a fantastic dinner y'all just saw at Opus, and um, it's just right up the hill here, and I'll show you. I'm sure I've showed you guys in tons of videos. And um, We don't eat there very often, but we did eat there last night, and I did have beef tips, and they had pepper on them, so they are pretty spicy, but they were good. And my drink was amazing. I had Mama Hito, and Sean had a Long Island and said it was great. So he actually had to run into work for a little while. And so I am going to do some projects. I bought this beautiful 5 by 7 rug um, at Aldi. And I also got one that matches it that's like a runner. And um, I took up the rug that used to stay right outside here on our, our decking on the wood. And um, I took up the landscaping lights that we have, the little solar lights. And so I'm going to put those da down today. And we I'm going to try to. <laughs> I'm going to go get a drill and try to do that. Um, but I am going to rearrange and clean. We did get the AC fixed, as you can see. It's running right here. The one up, up here in the salon is definitely working. Um, the guy said that it just needed a good flush. So whoever commented um, on our video last about you just need to flush it well you were correct sir um, so he flushed both units for us and added some freon our units are able to add freon so he did that um, as you can see I have a towel hanging from the ceiling because we did have another leak um, this sometimes fills up with water this is an absorbent Tupperware towel and it's sucking up all that water out of, out of there for me but um, upstairs you know I we had the fly bridge and all that um, waxed and polished and they took all the eyes and glass off which then therefore they took off my um, tape that went on my windows upstairs my window tape that kept the water from getting um, on the upstairs you guys if y'all saw in our last video yeah okay so not the last video but some videos prior um, <clears throat> so anyway I got to go upstairs today and see if I can't fix the um, water leaking so it doesn't get upstairs and sit because that's the problem when the water gets upstairs it sits on that floor and it doesn't drain properly and therefore we end up with this so we're going to get that fixed this weekend as well all right guys well i will let you know how my projects go and i will show you a before and after and you can tell me how pretty it looks okay guys well my rugs look good there's my first one and there's my second one so it looks nice I did a good job. Um, I held this one down with the landscaping lights. The other one, I just <laughs> pulled the screws, unscrewed the screw out of the floor and put it back in. So now I'm gonna take, I took the grill off and I'm gonna take it over to the water and I'm gonna wash it with some Dawn soap and then I'm gonna polish it. All right, so I will keep you guys posted and let you know how that turns out. Cause it's pretty dirty. Let me show you how dirty it is. That way you can see the, the before and after. So see how it's all stained up? And then in the inside it's pretty nasty so i'm gonna clean all that real good and then put it back because we do use our uh, grill quite a bit so all right mission accomplished on the rugs next is the grill okay guys well here's what we got doesn't look too bad i think i did a pretty decent job a lot of it will not come off i think this might be like a plastic bag or something that hit it and melted um, the inside looks a little better. I was able to get a lot of this off, um, but some of it I couldn't get off. But you know what? It's okay. We're going to keep using it. I'm not trying to sell it or anything. <laughs> I can deal with it. But I think it does look a whole lot prettier. It definitely looks prettier on the outside. So, yay, I did that. Um, what I did is I used some Dawn soap. Y'all are going to be like, yes, yeah, Cindy, we know. I used Dawn soap because if it can clean a dirty duck, it can clean that. And then I used this. Um, that Sean had to polish it so that's what I did and I think it looks really pretty I've only done this one other time um, since we've owned it which I think we've owned it for about three years 
all right that's it that's all i did all right guys well as you can see we're pushing off shoving off i think that's the word <laughs> Um, Sean came home from work and I went and got a pedicure and enjoyed my afternoon after all that cleaning I did and he's like hey let's take the boat over to the boardwalk and have some lunch it is raining as you can see but the storms are um, pushing out and um, it doesn't look like we're gonna have any more rain and he thought well there's probably not too many people at the boardwalk right now and it's not really lunch time or dinner time so we're gonna go catch a salad maybe some french fries at the bar somewhere I'll let you know where we end up at and then I'm gonna grill tonight so that'll be nice and fun so we brought the boat over to the Kima boardwalk and we are having lunch at the Flying Dutchman yeah. I'm like where are we at Sean and if you can see the fantasy the big beautiful boat that cruises around uh, Clear Lake it goes out to the Gulf not the Gulf excuse me the Galveston Bay um, it's docking it's coming into port <laughs> we'll see how pretty it is we have great seats right um, it rained and then it got super humid and super hot and um, yeah so yeah they're they're docking let's see how fancy they do this docking well, they have <laughs> they've got all kinds of thrusters 13 decades. and if you see that red and blue boat going right through here that's that um, What's that thing called? called? The Beast. The Beast. And it is. It's the Beast. We were out in the in the Gulf. Of the Gulf. I keep calling it the Gulf. Somebody's going to call Bay. me out on that. Oh, yeah. We were out in the Galveston Bay, and uh, that thing went by us and about killed us. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll let you know what we end up eating here. Okay, guys, I got, of course, <laughs> what I always get, shrimp. Um, it's actually Cajun shrimp, but he swears it's not that hot. And then Sean got what he always likes. It's a nice little burger. So... We got the mojito, we got the shrimp, the coke, and the burger. Sounds good? <laughs> that was nice. Um, so we left the uh, generator running while we went out to the boardwalk and ate. Look, broken, broken. Some other boat went flying by us and acted like we weren't, a, we were unwakeable and broke my picture. Not very happy about that, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, Sean just started up the engines and we left the generator running so the air was on while we were gone. So it's nice and cool inside. We're going to now go unhook and head back to the marina. A very good, nice little lunch afternoon. All right, guys. Well, look where we're at. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Sean? <laughs> so um, you guys know, I guess Memorial Day weekend, he didn't feel good. <coughs> and so we came here to South Shore ER, which is amazing the absolute best i'm going to show you what it looks like this is the best emergency room best place i've ever been in my whole entire life and um it's just right up the hill from our marina and yeah we would drive all the way from conroe to woodlands to come down here for this place if we needed to but anyway they think he has pneumonia guys because he's just the, the antibiotics ended thursday he's feeling better but not 100 percent better <coughs> still got that tickle so they're going to do, I believe, a chest x-ray and um, just check on him. But prayers for Sean. We have had a good weekend. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow's Sunday and we're going to be here again because he's not that bad. No, it's not that bad. <laughs> you just got pneumonia. You'll be fine. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, when it rains, it pours, right? <laughs> so Sean's in the emergency room. He has double pneumonia. <laughs> Who knew? And um, they're going to keep him there until about midnight to give him a second round of antibiotics. So I decided to walk down the hill to come back home. I didn't want to drive his truck because his truck's humongous. And I just thought I could use the exercise. So I walked home and I thought, okay, I'm just going to do some cleanup. So I opened the, um, the lazarette, which is back there. I opened that from outside and I saw water <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Look at this. There is water all in the engine room. And the, this box right here, since now that I've been on the phone with Sean, um, that box was full of water and it was not, it was all spilling out through the holes. It wasn't being pumped out. And he said that had something to do with the air conditioning and that it was not working. And so uh, Charlie, a friend of ours, he was over here trying to help me. And when he touched this box, it started pumping. So that bilge pump was not working. And then the bilge pump down there was not working. So I had to turn it on manual and it's slowly, you can probably see, let me see if I can zoom in. That little dirty water. The line um, is right there and the water's actually come down. So, um, yeah, can you believe that? I mean, our boat would have sank if we had not been here 100%. 
I mean, that's at least what I'm thinking because the builds were not working. So, okay, guys, I don't know if I'm going to be allowed to post this one, but I at least took the video of it. So, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that that just happened. Okay, guys, well, I got my, changed my clothes <laughs> and I got my little pumpy thing here because underneath the engine on the starboard, or excuse me, on the star, uh, port side is full of water as well as the starboard side. The only thing about the starboard side is we have an oil leak. <laughs> and you know how oil is like blood. It looks like there's a ton of it. <laughs> so um, I've got the oil absorbing pads that I'm putting over there. I'm not going to pump that side out. I'm going to let Sean deal with that because I'm afraid I don't want to put oil in the water. But I'm going to pump out this, this, I say it's clean water, it's dirty lake water, but it's not got oil in it, into here because this is not working off of a bilge. I'm going to pump it into here, and then it's going to go down, and the bilge pump is going to get it. Um, this box is now working correctly. Oh, so, um, that's what I'm doing. I'm just dealing with that right now. But I figure Sean's in the ER getting meds, trying to recover from his double pneumonia. So, why not help him and do this? So, I'm being a really good first mate. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I got the engine room all cleaned up. And it is about 1030 on Saturday night. I'm gonna stop walking because I know that's hard to see and I'm leaving the marina the beautiful South Shore Marina and I'm gonna walk up to the South Shore ER <laughs> which is up that hill and uh, visit with Sean they said they should be able to give him his antibiotics about um, 11 or 10 30 no 11 30 so I'm gonna go up there and hang out with him for the rest of the time okay that's it I know it's not that exciting but that's what's happening As well Sean as you can see him outside talking to Rich and as you saw in the last two videos um, I'm hoping that Sean feels well enough to talk to you guys in just a little bit about what happened with the boat to explain it but in the videos that I just took that you just saw um, he replaced a bilge pump in the condensation for the air conditioner and he also replaced a float that was for the bilge pump in the engine room and um, he does have double pneumonia <laughs> He's doing okay. He's actually going to stay home from work tomorrow, which is pretty surprising. Um, and so we're going to stay the night, one more night here. We're just going to kind of chill and relax and watch TV. If you guys are anything like us, our house, we have grass and uh, all kinds of stuff to do. So here we don't have quite as much to do, but we did clean out the lazarette in the engine room today. Um, our toolboxes did not get water in it, but a lot of the other boxes did. So we dried out everything and cleaned everything out. But I'm hoping that he feels well enough. Sorry. Hoping he feels well enough to share with you guys a little bit about what happened down in there. <laughs> But thank you guys for being so supportive and watching. Um, hopefully it's not too boring. If it is, adios. <laughs> if it's not, then we'll see you next time. Hey, Sean. How you feeling? Oh, I feel a lot better. <laughs> I think I'm going to make it. Okay. He's going to survive, people. All right. So what's okay. going on? So you guys, before this, you saw the video of how much water we took on. Of course, I was in the hospital hooked up to IV, so uh, I was trying to walk her through this. But anyway, uh, can you come over here, Cindy, and yes. show them this box? This white box over here is a condensation box. For the air conditioner okay for both air conditioning units and the condensation goes into there and it pumps it overboard that one the pump sometimes if they you don't clean them all the time you know the float won't work properly so i just replaced that pump it's, it's not worth trying to i've already cleaned it a few times so anyway that one was not pumping because the float switched inside the pump so there's a weed pole on it and the water came out and filled the bilge up the problem though is the bilge has a floating switch it's a separate switch beside it that, that you know just floats whatnot but anyway um that floating switch the same way it went it floated up but it didn't turn on it didn't activate inside the, the switch so i'll replace that one as well so i always keep extra of those anyway so i just got it out of my stock now i need to buy one of each to put back in my, my mm -hmm. boat for, for future reference but uh it's just a peace of mind go ahead and replace it and be done with it that switch i don't remember what it cost 30 bucks yeah um, I think the pump probably wasn't much more than that. So 
if you're starting having problems, just just do that. And you know, and also this this box here gets sediment in it and all that kind of stuff. It just gets dirty after a while, and that's what makes those uh, switches not work right. They don't mm -hmm. operate like they're supposed to because of all the dirt. So we try to we try to clean our boxes once a month. Try to keep our bilge clean. Um, it's hard to it's hard to in a boat. There's so many pumps and so many things to to keep clean, but if you don't keep up with it, it could be it could be catastrophic. So. <laughs> And Sean, um, did your did your um, look clean down there? Yeah, yeah, you did a good job cleaning. <laughs> I told him I was your new first. I was doing a really good job as first mate. That's right. I did get it all cleaned up. All right, well, good deal. Well, thank you, Sean. Mm -hmm. I we all hope you start feeling better. And until next time, we are going to go ahead and head out of here. Um, got the sheets off the bed. Got all the laundry packed up. We're going to head home. Make sure Sean gets lots of rest. And we're planning on coming back next weekend. We do have a tear in our bimini top. It's at the, um, where the zipper is. So it's just like the zipper disconnected from the fabric. So we asked Charlie, our, our neighbor, if he's interested, because I believe he has some machines that he can sew that for us. So next weekend, I think we're going to take it off and let him help us fix that. So I'll let you guys um, in on that fun project. Until next time, everybody have a great week and we'll see you again soon. Okay, so we stopped by the Monument Inn restaurant. Remember I told you we came here before, but I didn't get any videos of it. So we did get a good seat by the window. And the Lynchburg Ferry is right over there. It's actually a really good spot to sit and watch um, boats and things like that go by. You can see a lot of um, barges and tugboats and stuff. So really cool being on this, this side of the water. <laughs> Normally we're on the water seeing all that. <laughs> right, Sean? <laughs> There, looky there, there goes a the big old ship. <laughs> we see this a hundred times and it never gets old. <laughs> I'm like, I love it. Looks like the name of that boat says shiitake. <laughs> shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> I know it doesn't say shiitake. <laughs> oh, how fun. Sean, I wish we were on the boat right now. It's okay, we'll be back. Okay guys, so I know you can't see this, but there is a plaque right there, and I was just reading it. Um, Sean's going to take me across the Lynchburg Ferry, and it says that the Lynch, the Lynch's Ferry was um, established in 1822. Holy Toledo, Batman. And it says that men and horses were 23 cents, and cattle were 4 cents, but today, in 2024, it's free. Um, but it's really got a lot of history. There's behind us over where I'm kind of shooting at but this way there is um, like a little park area Sean mm -hmm. that has like some history and stuff like that we didn't walk over there we got to get home <laughs> I gotta I gotta take the grandkids to the doctor the battleship used to be the USS Texas oh yeah but they took it to Galveston and they're re rebuilding it they're pretty much finished with it I think and they're gonna put it somewhere down in Galveston and it's gonna be a, like a museum it was a museum up here but nobody came to it and it, it needed a lot of work. It was built in 1917. Wow. So we went on it. It was, it was pretty cool. They have a big monument mm -hmm. here. And it's, a, it's a pretty cool area. Yeah. A lot, a lot of chemical plants. So 400 or something chemical plants up and down. Through yeah. There. Buffalo Bayou. That's what it says. Established by the... On, on Buffalo Bayou and his San Jacinto River. Okay. Well, cool. Well, all right. Another cool fact is that there's little signs right here that tell you... It says seafood consumption advisory. Do not eat more than eight ounces of any fish or blue crab a month. <laughs> like, why has it got to be the blue crab? <laughs> why not just any kind of crab? And I don't know if it means fish just from right here. I I'm so confused. But anyway, that's what it says. So, all right. Well, we're going to get on this ferry here in just a minute. And I will let you guys see how fun it is. All right. We're going on to the ferry. <laughs> now that we're doing this, I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, he said, get you, get on the right side, John. Well, this is not a very big ferry at all. Huh. Very exciting. Uh, inside. inside, okay. Good. Could have done this on a smaller vehicle, right? Turbos. 
I heard bigger it. than 5.9 Cummins, I <laughs> promise you that. Oh my gosh. Here's the restaurant we just ate at. Back over that way. It's a little short distance. It's not very far at all. How exciting. Sean said I look like the new kid on the block. Oh, I do. Okay. This driver knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Ocean Guard Donut Fender, <laughs> Marine Fender, in, Rame, Marine Fenders International. We need to order us some, some yeah. fenders from them. Oh my gosh. She's going to hit.